On today's video, let's talk about cavalry equipment. More specifically, I'm gonna give you three sets of equipment that are the best bang for your buck from the early stage, free to play, low spender, low uh, cavalry type of player, all the way to end game top tier equipment set that'll get you the best bang out of your cavalries. We're gonna also go over the stats and the order in which you should craft these equipments and why we have all the math and all the data available for you all. So sit back. Drop a like on this video. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Before we start, I want to give a massive thank you to Sean, who is super support supportive of the channel and of the stream. He's always there. He created these tables initial format. I made a few changes to it. I added more information. I changed a little bit of the math that was a little bit wrong here and there. And I made sure that this is what we wanted to show for this video. So Sean, you're the man. Thank you very much for your help getting this done. And of course, King Bumblebee helped us gather all the data that you'll have available in the Discord down below. Everything I'm talking about and all the math behind it and everything you need to know is available in our Discord down below, linked in the description. In there, you'll find the ROK Info Archive section and it will uh, include a, a link to a spreadsheet with all of the information. Before we start, I am a sponsored content creator of Rise of Kingdoms. If you know the content, consider dropping a like on the video and of course, subscribe to the channel. Listen. We've spent hours going through the data, making sure all of this is right, getting, making the tables that you'll see, doing all the analysis. I'd really appreciate it if you guys took a moment, smashed the like button on this video, and of course, shared this video with your alliance mates and everywhere across the board. Make it mandatory for them to watch it because this will include everything they need to know about cavalry equipment. All right, let's start from the beginning. This is our early game set. Before we dive into it, I want you to understand what you're seeing on the screen and what you'll see on the disk on the Google Drive sheet that has all this info. You have the total of the time each piece of equipment takes and the total amount of time it takes to make the whole set, the amount of materials required, and this is normal material, so any equipment that is not normal equipment gets translated into normal equipment and normal materials. You have the stats of every type of equipment and what kind of stats it gives and how much. And you have the name of, the, of it, of course. And all the way in the beginning, you have the order in which you should craft this equipment. The video and the table is organized based on these categories right here. However, the order of crafting can be found out there as well, and it's not the same order. Let's go on to the first piece of equipment, and I'll keep giving you more information as to how we made these choices and all that throughout the video, so make sure you stick around. Our first piece of equipment is the sharp longsword. Now, honestly, the sharp longsword is very surprising because as a gray equipment, piece of equipment, a normal piece of equipment, it gives a huge amount of stats. 5% cavalry defense early on. It takes you about what? It should take a day and six hours worth of materials for the record. If you see me looking this way, we have the tables, these tables right here on the monitor right here so I can give you all the information. It takes about a day and six hours to craft this piece of equipment if you're making materials in the forging the materials for it. And a 5% stat on it is why we put it as the first piece of equipment for cavalry you should be forging. To get these blueprints is very, very straightforward. This is a farm account and it has six of these blueprints. You can get it out of courier station, out of the tavern, opening keys, uh, Ian's ballads, uh, different quests that essentially the more blueprints you make, some of, you'll get some of these. It's a very, very init good initial first piece of equipment for cavalry, and this is the first one you should be making in the early set. What you should know about the set is that we build up slowly and steadily, and the idea behind it is what happens if you dismantle the pieces of equipment? I also have that data. And if you're trying to create multiple sets, you could essentially create a first set that's basic for one march, and then upgrade a secondary set to give it to that first march and then that take that first set and give it to a second march and that way you can essentially keep building up and as you build a better set for your main march the rest of the set uh, of the marches you have will essentially get whatever was thrown away by the main march and then slowly and steadily you can build up the rest of them that way you're very efficient about how you work it 
all of that is how we set this up. The next piece of equipment is the Helm of Fear, which you can get out of the tavern, out of Sunset Canyon, Golden Kingdom. I opened a, go uh, a equipment ch a chest key and got one of these full set, so it's fairly simple to get it. This is the third piece of equipment I would recommend to create. It's not the second one. It gives 4% cavalry, uh, cavalry attack, and it is very predominant on the leather. If you haven't noticed, cavalry equipment is very predominant on leather. So make sure you're just crafting consistent leather because that's what you'll need the most throughout all of cavalry equipment. Small tip for you all. So the Helm of Fear is pretty straightforward, 4% cavalry attack, and it is followed by the Milanese plate. The Milanese plate was a super annoying piece of equipment to get because it was only available from Lohar. Now you can get it out of Shadow Legion, Sunset Canyon, and the Tavern. I actually got one of them from the Tavern, randomly opening a key out of the 20-some keys I opened the other day. I mean, it's available now, which is great. You don't need to make Lohars anymore. This is the fourth piece of equipment I recommend to forge. And the reason for that is because it's a green piece of equipment. It takes quite a bit of time. It's one of the longest ones in this set to create. And so you can get better bang for your buck for a shorter term than, than this. Our fourth piece of equipment is the Bronze Bracers. These two you can get out of the Tavern, Golden Kingdom, and Ian's Ballads. On this account, I opened the free chest and got five blueprints, so I feel like it's very reasonable to make these. And in our recommendation, they are in number six. The reason for that, they have the one of the lowest number of stats you can get in the game for cavalry for a cheap piece of equipment and it'll take a little bit of time to get that blueprint, so you shouldn't be focusing on that. You should focus on something you can get better blueprints of and quicker. And that is our next piece of equipment, which is the second one recommended to forge in this set. The coarse breacher, breacher's breachers, whatever. 60 leather, it'll take you 18 hours to craft the enough leather to make it work. And the blueprints are available pretty much anywhere. As soon as you're making a couple of blueprints, you'll finish quests. And from the qu initial quests, you get blueprints of this, which you then you combine and then you get more blueprints of this. And then you get it from the tavern. You can buy it from the courier station for resources, which is what I do. And it's a very, very, very useful 3% cavalry attack piece of equipment that'll take you only 18 hours to craft. 3% for 18 hours. Compared to, for example, we looked at the bronze uh, the bronze braces, and they take a day and 18 hours and only give you two and a half percent. This is one of those things that we took into account when making these sets and the order. The final piece of equipment in this set is the edged boots, which, by the way, on a farm, this is a seven million uh, a farm account that's that's been there for a little bit, but it's not that it's in a main account or I spend a lot of any money on it or something like that. It already has one of these. Edged boots are fairly popular. You can get them out of the tavern courier station as well. I believe this is where I got it from, just buying it pieces by pieces from the courier station. You get it out of quests, which is awesome, and Ian's bollards. It's fairly okay to create. It takes about a day and 18 hours. This is our fifth recommendation, one to last to create. So the order in which you should be creating this set is sword, from there, legs, helmet, armor, boots, and finally gloves. This will get you a very, very nice 22% cavalry stats, and uh, it'll only take you about 10 days worth of crafting materials consistently, which is not that long. Remember that in those 10 days, you're also going to get some choosem chests from different quests. You're going to get some uh, random chests from your daily activities, which you can then open. And because you need three of four types of, uh, of materials to create some of these, I mean, leather is the predominant one. But as you can see in here, you need both the, the ebony, uh, whatever how you call it, the wood thing, and iron. So the likelihood of you getting a random a chest that gives you any of these that you need is fairly big. So it should take 10 days. If you only craft, it'll probably take you less than that. Let's go now into the mid game set. Now the mid game set had a little bit of math that's a bit more intricate into it, which we're gonna go over. Don't worry, we'll break it down nicely for you all. And so 
Our first piece of equipment is the Vanguard Halbert. Now, spoiler alert, the Vanguard Halbert is one of the best pieces of equipment even for endgame. If you're not someone who has the trial of the Lost Kingdom by getting to VIP 16 and buying it, because that's the only way you can get it, this is pretty much your best friend. 9% worth of stats. It takes 110 leather though to make, which is about five and a half days, give or take, but 9% worth of stats is fantastic to replace that sharp longsword. If you decide to break up the sharp longsword because you want to get only the one set as quickly as humanly possible, you can get it down to four days and six hours. And the replacement between the first piece of equipment, which is the, the sharp longsword compared to uh, the, the Vanguard Halbert is about 4% more stats, which is a lot. One quick spoiler alert is that, as I mentioned, because this is potentially an end game piece of equipment, this is our number one recommendation. The first one you should be crafting out of the secondary set once you're starting to build up towards better stats. The next piece of equipment on our list is the Expedition War Helmet. Now the Expedition Warhelm is available through a bunch of places, Sunset Canyon Chests, Tavern, Soroli Crisis, Golden Kingdom, uh, Tavern. I picked up, I think, like a few pieces of this. Sunset Canyon, you get the, those blue chests, choose them chests, and you can choose to get the Expedition of War. Warhelm, it is a nice, a nice change, ex two extra percent compared to what you have here. You have up here 6% cavalry defense compared to 4% attack. It'll take you 12 days to craft all of this, again, emphasizing on the leather. And if you decide to, for some reason, you want to break up this in order to save yourself some time from here, you are in luck because both of these use the same exact type of materials. And so you'll, you're going to get yourself a nice amount of time down from 12 days, you're going to save about two and a half days worth of creating materials. This is a, a mid-tier, good helmet, solid helmet for you to build up on. And for the record, if you end up getting a special talent on it, which these sets do not take that in account at all, it actually can serve you as an end game piece of, of equipment as well until you get your end game piece of equipment to special talent because it evens up with the Abyssal Visage, spoiler alert for those of you who are not planning on staying that long, at 8% cavalry attack and 8% cavalry defense, I don't know why you would spend epic equipment materials on this, unless, of course, you want to try to get it to be a special talent one. And even if you don't get it to special talent, you can either switch between the two or give it to a secondary march until you can reproc it and, and retry to get it. You get another blueprint to utilize it again. So the Expedition Warhelm is our sixth recommendation in this list. You shouldn't do it until, not this one, until the very end. It gives you, it gives you a good amount of stats, but it also takes a, a fairly long amount of time. Our next piece of equipment for the chest piece is a, a, a fairly controversial one, which is Windswept Breastplate. Now, I'm not so sure about this pick, and I'll tell you why. It's really only available from Sunset Cannon Chests or Shadow Legion Invasion. And I don't know how frequent it drops in Shadow Legion Invasion because we haven't had that event happen yet after this update. So there could be very well a situation where this piece of equipment will take you a while to get a blueprint of, which is why it's our fifth recommendation. And the reason it's the fifth and not the sixth is because it becomes part of a set, which technically speaking, we're not filling, so you could even get away with this being sixth. If you have Expedition Warm Hell available first, you can do that one and swap, swap between the two. It's not a big deal. 4.5% Cavalry Defense is not bad. That is a nice little increase from our previous, uh, what was it, 3%, I believe? What was it, 45 and this one was 4 So it's a nice half a percent increase. Not the biggest increase on Earth. It's, it, it, it has a small catch. It is part of a set. I am not the biggest fan of, of this piece of equipment specifically, but it is the best one available kind of in the mid-tier level. Speaking of the breastplate, our, four, our fourth piece of equipment is the windsuit bracers. Now, at this stage, you're getting 2.5% health, which is, it's, it's nice. It's Kind of the same, it's not kind of, it's the same exact stats as the green bronze bracers. But in this case, 
You don't only get 2.5% health over defense, which is better, but now you're also potentially being able to fulfill a set of Windsor Bracers, two pieces, which will give you troop attack plus 2%. So this one is actually our fourth recommendation. It's not one that you should focus on early on, but it is one that you'll be able to get fairly easily again, uh, do Shadow Legion or Ian's Balas or Golden Kingdom. It's like even I have on this farm one from surviving like five, 10 levels of Shadow Legion that happens anyway in the alliance that I'm in, right? So I'm like, hey, it's, it's freebies. Why not? Windswept Bracers are great mid-tier piece, but it gets better later on. From there, we go to the Vanguard Greaves. Now the Vanguard Greaves, as a matter of fact, when you get the Vanguard Helbert, it also completes a set and you get an extra 2% cavalry attack. This is why this is our second recommendation to craft. You get 1% more from the past piece of equipment. Is it 1%? It's 2%, sorry. You get 1% on the on attack and then 1% on health. So 2% more, <laughs> I read the wrong column. And on top of that, you fulfill that set, which gives you bonuses. It's a green piece of equipment. This and the other piece of this set, the Vanguard Halberd, is actually recommended all the way to the very end, unless you're, of course, trying to extra optimize. And in that case, we're going to swap this out later on. And I'll show you with what when we get to the end game set. And of course, the final piece of equipment, believe it or not, is the windswept boots. The windswept boots essentially is our third recommendation to create. It's It takes eight days to make it. It's why it's in third. The bracers uh, can't come right after it in third, uh, in, in fourth. If you can get either first, it's not a big deal. You can make either or third, fourth, but that's the order in which you wanna make them because you really wanna get those two pieces done as quickly as possible. And with that, you fulfill that set. That allows you to potentially skip on the brace plate if you if, on the breastplate if you just can't get it or you decide not to make it. That's completely fine. It only adds half a percent worth of stats. So if you feel like skipping the, the chest piece, but going with the shoes and gloves, you can maintain the Milanese plate all the way until you go for the next set. And so here you go. This is the mid-tier set right here. All the data and all the stats in here. And once more, the way we made the decision on which order, what goes in which order, is based on how many stats you can get quicker. So I could have said, for example, that uh, the windswept bracers and the windswept boots should go first. But the Vanguard Halbert and Vanguard Greaves together take about the same, a day more than it takes one of the windswept pieces. So why why would you right you should probably first get those two greens done first so you get all that extra stat as quickly as possible and then move on to the blues but this is the mid-tier set let's go over the final end game set now quickly very very quickly this end game set is for is not one million percent optimized again this doesn't take into account any special talents whatsoever. Keep in mind the Vanguard Halberd with extra stats could be nuts. It can go up to like what, 12% stats. That's actually nutty for a green piece of equipment. But even then, there is a couple of optimizations that are on the Excel sheet in the Discord server, but they're not on the screen here because uh, it would have been a lot and we're already going way too long with this video. So the first piece of equipment that is for this is again the Vanguard Halberd. I explained how this is a great piece of equipment. The only thing that really will trump it per se would be a Trial of the Lost Kingdom, which you can get out of VIP 16 bundles, buying the VIP 16 bundle, and then you get this, which is an awesome cavalry defense piece of equipment. I am not considering whatsoever the sets, because of course you want to get the set if you can get the set. But that's not what we were after. We're not after this set. We all understand that if you go here and you pick the cavalry set, guess what? You get the best stats for cavalry available, right? But that were, that's not what we're looking at. This is all the way up until you get to the point where these start to be relevant. You can swap the Vanguard Halberd for a, a Trial of the Lost Kingdom for sure. If not, maintain your Vanguard Halberd, get it to special talent, and you're very, very set. The chest, the, the helmet is, like I mentioned, the Abyssal Visage. The Abyssal Visage is a great, great piece of equipment, which prior we couldn't have gotten more than two blueprints of. Now you can get 
at least four from from uh, quests and then there are a bunch of places you can get it from vip shop garden of infinity quests events sunset canyon tavern and many more at eight percent attack this is nice again if you manage to get your expedition war helmet proc to special talent cavalry you can Keep making these until you get this to be the best one. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I really like is that you have the ability, once you get this to special talent, to choose whether you want to go a bit heavier on attack or a bit heavier on defense. 8% here, 8% there based on the situation, which is something we'll discuss in a future video, whether or not what's better, what's worse in those kinds of sets. So the Abyssal Visage is our recommendation. It is in our list, the fourth one you should make. Remember, in this list, we have two pieces of equipment that you already did in the previous set, so we only have four to go. So let's go to our next piece of equipment, which is the chest piece, and that one is my dreaded Dark Lord's Blessing. Dark Lord's Blessing became a cavalry type of equipment. Rest in peace, my archers, and all the grind I did to get those, uh, but anyway. Dark Lord's Blessing is the third recommendation for you to craft out of this set. You get 8% worth of stats out of it, 3.5% increase from the previous set, from the previous piece of equipment. A very, very good increase for you, number three, and it'll take a very long time to craft the equipment materials from. Just a heads up, it's a purple piece of equipment. The next equipment piece uh, that is the first one we recommend to create is the Isid's Sufferance. Isid's Sufferance, whenever Osiris Lee comes up, you can get, uh, I think, one blueprint out of it for coins, which is super simple. Back in the day, it was like 99, and then it went down to seven, and now I believe it went down to one. You can get it out of a bunch of other places, uh, the VIP shop, the tavern, Osiris League, as I mentioned, Ian's Ballads and all that good stuff. The Isid's Sufferance is really, really, really nice. You get out of it 3.5% more, and it's one of the cheaper ones of all of them to make. It'll take you only 32 days as Death Squad hits the ta hits us with tax, Death Squad, in the middle of the recording. Shout out to Death Squad. Of course he did that, right? How would he, he doesn't know he did that, but that's hilarious. With that being said, I said Sufferance was, is the first piece of purple equipment you should consider for cavalry. It's straight up leather, so you're making leather, you're good to go. It's the quickest one to get and 3.5% increase is really, really what you want. If you had the previous piece of equipment, the windswept bracers, and you decide to break it to, to help your eyeset, your eyeset of sufferance endeavors, you're gonna get yourself a little bit of, uh, a little bit of help, but half of this goes to waste from uh, because it, this one has half of it as iron, where in here it's strictly strictly leather so keep that in mind our next piece of equipment is one that i've told you about already vanguard greaves you already should have it done from the previous set i would keep it if you're looking not to keep it and you're looking to go a bit further up you could you could go for the uh, cavalry health gladiators now the reason this becomes a little bit of a question mark is the vanguard halberd with the vanguard greaves gives you an extra 2% attack, which then you are at 7%, 5% from the pants, 9% from the halberd, and then this will give you, uh, and that will give you an extra 2%. So if you put those 2% into the greaves, this is only 1% more. And, and again, you should make a gladiator eventually, but you have a really good set when it comes to the Vanguard Greaves and the Vanguard Halberd. To get this will essentially only get you 1% more, and all the other pieces of equipment in this set are giving you so much more extra stats that you should consider the gladiator if you wanna add the gladiator into the set, the last one that you're trying to make. First of all, get the rest of these done and then replace your Vanguard Greaves and the Halberd as well. Of course, if you have the trial of the lost, uh, the trial of the lost uh, kingdom, then that set already got broken, and then you could go for the gladiators. Uh, the gladiators are are a bit expensive and take some time to make. You're gonna need a lot of a, a lot of purple materials. I would leave it for last. However, you can definitely figure out where you want to fit it based on the availability of blueprints and availability of materials if you choose to do so. When it comes to the shoes, the final piece of equipment, we're looking at the Cloud Racers, my most hated, I hate this with a passion because I kept getting a ton of them instead of gold, eight golden ages. 
five and a half percent cavalry attack this will actually give you a nice little boost three percent worth of stats again very heavy on the leather this is actually our second recommendation we recommend doing this second after i said sufferance you go for the cloud racers that way you get the most extra percentage for the least amount of crafting time the least amount of crafting time means also the least amount of materials required so keep that in mind and with that said, we went through all three sets. This was a very, very long video. All the information is available in our Discord, linked in the description down below. You'll have the spreadsheet that says, that's called Equipment Forging, and then under it, there is a tab for Cavalry Equipment. The other two tabs for Infantry and Archers have not been published yet. We're also working on an awesome, awesome graphic for you to have an awesome view of how these sets look like so you can take those and very easily spread them as, a, as an image to your alliance mates in game, to in your discords, wherever it is. But I'd also appreciate it if you share this video so folks know why we chose what we chose and in which order to craft things. For now, I'm Gecko, I'm out of here. I appreciate every single one of you supported the channel, drop the like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, help me make this video popular. Usually you guys don't seem to dig the equipment videos too much, and I put so much time into them. I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment and not only slapped the like on it, but also shared it with your alliance mates, especially the Cav players, so they know what they're getting into. In the Discord, you'll also find alternative sets, substitute sets, which I didn't go over, but uh, they, I didn't go over some of them. The Trial of the Lost King, uh, Kingdom and Gladiator are in an, an alternative set of the ultimate of the endgame set. There's also a substitute set of the mid tier that I'm not a big fan of just because it's very heavy windswept. It fills the four windswept pieces, but for 4% March, I, I don't really care for March. I don't think anyone in the cab department cares for March. They probably care for more stats than actually March. But anyway, it's there in case y'all decide this is what you, you wanna work with instead. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video sooner rather than later. Appreciate you all and take care. Peace.